We're going to look now at the so-called WH questions. These are questions that in English are introduced by an interrogative adverb. I may as well write it here. Interrogative adverbs that begin famously with WH, uh, except for one. And uh, let's go and take a look at uh, what they are in English. And we'll have, uh, we start with uh, who, what, when, where, why, and finally, how, which is the only one, of course, that doesn't begin with the WH. And here is uh, the equivalent in Italian. Chi, che cosa, quando, dove, perché, and come, chi, che cosa, quando, dove, perché, come. Let's take also this opportunity to look at the pronunciation. Chi, C-H-I, that's the only way in Italian you can express the sound k with an i or an e. Chi, C-H-I. Che cosa? Per che? C-H-I, chi. C-H-I, che. Let's go now to see. Let's take these. Let's add the verb, chi è. I have a set so that it automatically places the correct accent. Otherwise, you can use the apostrophe. No, it doesn't. Because, okay, this is also acceptable because it's very cumbersome to introduce the special symbol I have set up the keyboard for a shortcut but this is uh, acceptable as it is chi è che cosa è quando è dove è perché è come è this would be the full, complete expression. Most commonly, Italian uses abbreviations. So it would be che cos apostrofo, with apostrophe, e. Che cos e. You delete the last letter and you introduce the apostrophe to signal the deletion. The same thing happens with Quando, and you already know that it will be quande, dove, famously, you will always find dove, perché è, since this one is a stress at the very end, it doesn't really suit the requirement. It's not fit for an abbreviation. And, we, and it remains perché è. Come instead will follow the abbreviation rule and we will have come. Che cos'è? Quando è? Dove? Come? Pay attention. 
the difference. Che cosa? Che cos'è? Quando? Quand'è? Dove? Dov'è? Come? Come? I think these are the closest in terms of pronunciation for obvious reasons because the, the words end with A and then they're followed by E. So there is a strong similarity between the two constructions. Dove? 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 Let's go over, while we're here, the pronunciation of A, which means and, and the pronunciation of E, which means is. E, E. E, E. Dove? Come? 